Hey, what is going on everybody? Jeremiah here with the Team Fortress 2 gameplay commentary. And tonight, I'm gonna be playing as the sniper with the new sniper rifle, the classic classic. The classic sniper rifle. And I'm gonna give my thoughts on it. I'll tell you what I think about the item. If do I think it's any good? Do I think it's any bad? Do I think you should craft it? Should you buy it? Should you sell it? Uh, sell it! Sell it! Sell it! Um Okay, we'll get the weird out for for now. Um so, uh, the sniper rifle in question, the classic, is a new rifle for the sniper in the primary slot. If you don't know how it works, I'm gonna give you a brief explanation of it. This rifle is directly from Team Fortress Classic. If you don't know what that game is, it's essentially Team Fortress 1. Although they were like a couple of different iterations of it, but Team Fortress Classic came before TF2, and it was the standard, the regular sniper rifle in TFC was this item. It was not the one you're used to in TF2. It was this one. And how does it transition to TF2? Well, uh, I, it's hard to answer that question because it's a very awkward item. If you have never used the TF Classic weapon, if you never played Team Fortress Classic, this is a very strange and upside down, totally reversed way to play Sniper out of the seven and a half years that this game has been out. And I can understand that. I can understand how awkward and strange and messy this is when you first get it in your hands because it changes the entire world of Sniper. You have to hold the button down. You have to hold fire down to charge. You can't headshot somebody unless it's a fully charged shot. And you have to let go of the button to shoot. And this whole, you, you, what ends up happening is you hold down left click to start the charge. And then if you want to zoom in, you have to like hit right click while you're holding left click and then let go of left click. Uh. I feel like I'm knitting a sweater when I play with this item. I really do. I feel like I'm like about to, when I, when I look down at my mouse, it's gonna be like a crocheted blanket. And I'm gonna go, oh, that's nice. I'm gonna give that to my niece. As goofy as that sounds, I really feel like my hands are being knitted together. And it's something that just you need to get used to. It's it, Like I said, it reverses everything you know about the sniper. And you move really slowly when you actually hold the charge down. I don't know if it's the same speed as the regular sniper being zoomed in. But I think it just feels slower because you can see more of what's going on around you. And watch this demo man right here. I was laughing so hard at this. Like, why were you doing that? Like, he just got destroyed. Anyways, uh, we're gonna move on from that. I lost my train of thought. Uh, oh yeah, alright, we talked about the bad. I want to talk about the good. There is something very specific here that this rifle has that none of the other ones do. And I'm referring to the fact, like I just said, you can see the whole battlefield, regardless if you have zero or a hundred percent charge. I know everything that's happening around me before I even need to scope in. On top of that, yeah, you can do no scopes. You can do a lot of damage with a no scope, but I think this adds the level of when you're playing with the Huntsman and you have your peripheral vision still around, you don't have to worry. If somebody's coming from my side right now, see right here, I'm shooting at this soldier. If somebody's coming up to my left or right, I can see them. You can't do that with any of the other rifles. You have to scope in to be able to get the damage you need to get the kill, right? And it gives you this sense of security. You feel more safe while you're using this weapon because even when you have to hard scope, you can still pull it down. You can pull down the scope with still having the charge going. So even if you think somebody might be behind you, might behind you, even if you think somebody might be behind you, you can still turn around, whip around, take a look, and still have your charge going. That's, that's pretty huge. And if you want me to give you a verdict here, if you want me to give you a, well, what do you really think? You give, give it to us real. Tell us the real story. Well, I would probably say this is not the best sniper rifle in the game. I, is it fun to use? I think so. And I, when I play Team Fortress 2, that's what matters to me, is can I jump in? Am I gonna have a good time? Can I just mess around with this rifle? Is it the best? No. Is it fun? Yeah. So, I, it's it's hard to give a letter grade to this. Yes, it's messy. Yes, it's clumsy. But getting that no-scope 450 on somebody is pretty satisfying, and it's pretty interesting, and it's all, it's all in good fun. And I'm glad to see that they're bringing stuff over from Team Fortress Classic. Um, I don't know if they're gonna keep bringing stuff over. I don't have any insider information on this. It's just... I like to see them paying homage to their Team Fortress Classic. I think that's really interesting. I'm happy to see it here. As much as you might not like it, or as much as you might think it's great, it's still cool nonetheless to see it in the game. And that's my thoughts, that's my theory, and that's what I gotta say. So, that's gonna wrap up the video, guys. Thank you all so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. Let me know what you think in the comments, and I'll see you all next time. And of course, take care, everybody.